Link is one of Nintendo's most famous characters, yet we know very little about him. Today, I want to try and unravel just one mystery surrounding the character, his parents. Presumably, he must have a parent, two parents? So, I went back through all the old Zelda games, the manga, the comics, the CDs, in order to answer the question, who are Link's parents? Now, of course, Link in the Zelda series is not actually one character, but rather a bunch of different characters who share the name Link. So, I've picked out five specific Links with clues to their parents. Starting with number one, A Link to the Past. Now, in A Link to the Past, Link is actually raised by his uncle rather than his parents, and there's no information about why that is within the game itself. But around the time the game came out, a comic book series was published in America named after the game. And in this adaptation, we get more details about Link's missing parents. It turns out that Link's parents were knights of Hyrule, tasked with protecting the kingdom. One day, however, they were lured into the Dark World by the evil Aghanim, where they were trapped forever. Thus, Link was raised by his uncle instead. However, one day the evil Aghanim attacks Link's uncle too. With his dying breath, Link's uncle tells Link, Take my sword and shield, the princess. You must save her. After you rescue Zelda and the people in the Dark World, you may meet your parents. Shocked by this revelation, Link sets out in search of the dark world where his parents are trapped. Midway through his journey, while Link is travelling through a vast desert, he suddenly sees a vision of his parents and uncle floating in the sky. Link, Link, they say, we are here with our brother in the world of darkness. It seems as though a portal has opened to the dark world. Link reaches out to his parents in front of him, but disaster strikes. His hand turns into the claw of a beast. Entering the dark world with impure motives has extreme consequences. So Link continues his journey, this time not just to find his parents, but to save all of Hyrule. And well, it takes a good 200 pages to do that, but eventually Link succeeds in his mission. Hyrule is saved, and yet again, Link sees a vision of his parents. Link, you have done well, Link. In the imprisoning war of years past, great armies risked all to seal Ganon in the Dark World. You, however, accomplished a much more lonely and difficult victory. It was not only by your own power, but also that of the many generations of knights and wise men who preceded you. Let the memories of their efforts humble you. Never forget. So, this is Link's parents. This is what they look like, here they are. However, you might have noticed that we never learnt their names. Well, thankfully, we've got another source of information, a 17-minute audio drama that was released in 1994 alongside the game's soundtrack. It features full voice acting and reveals more about Link's parents. Take a listen. Luretta. Link. So, according to this audio drama, Link's father is named Banzetta and his mother is named Loretta. The general lore of the audio drama mostly lines up with the comic series. Link's parents were knights of Hyrule who died trying to save the kingdom. And if you're curious about the voices, Link's mother, Loretta, is played by Naoko Nakamura, best known for playing the video game character Sniper Wolf, and Link's father, Banzetta, is played by Yukimasa Kishino, who is perhaps best known for voicing the mysterious police officer Hyoei Kuroda in the Detective Conan series. 
Now, there is one other adaptation of A Link to the Past, this time a manga published in 2005. Interestingly, Link's parents here are pretty much consistent with how they were shown in the earlier adaptation. They get lured into the dark world by Aghanim, where they sadly end up dying. When Link later ends up in the dark world too, he finds a garment that his mother had sewed for him before she died. Link's father is also expanded upon a little. Apparently, he trained as a knight alongside the evil Aghanim before he turned evil. Anyway, Link again eventually saves Hyrule, after which he sees a vision of his mother, father, and uncle. So that is all the information we get about Link's parents from A Link to the Past. So let's move on to the next game. Number 2. Ocarina of Time Now, Ocarina of Time is interesting, because it's one of the few games that mentions Link's parents within the game itself. When you complete the Forest Temple section of the game, Link meets the Deku Tree Sprout, who tells him more about his past. It turns out that, despite him growing up in Kokiri Forest among members of the Kokiri race, Link is actually not Kokiri himself, but instead Hylian, in other words, a human. Here's what the Deku Tree Sprout says. Some time ago, before the King of Hyrule unified this country, there was a fierce war in our world. One day, to escape from the fires of the war, a Hylian mother and her baby boy entered this forbidden forest. The mother was gravely injured. Her only choice was to entrust the child to the Deku Tree, the guardian spirit of the forest. After the mother passed away, the baby was raised as a Kokiri. In other words, Link's mother brought him to the safety of the forest to protect him from war. She died shortly afterwards, leaving Link to grow up among the Kokiri people. That's what we learn from Ocarina of Time. However, we never learn her name, or even see a picture of her. Which is where Club Nintendo Magazine steps in. Inside this German Nintendo magazine, there were two short comics showing the events which the Deku Tree spoke of. We learn that Link's father is actually an important officer in Hyrule's army. Here's what he looks like, and here's Link's mother, too. Worried for the safety of their newborn baby, Link's father, mother, and grandmother think up a plan to leave Link in the safety of Kokiri Village. However, that very evening, Link's father is killed in battle. Thus, Link's mother sets off to Kokiri Village alone, carrying her baby child. However, along the way she is told by the old owl that any human who enters the forest is turned into a tree. Undeterred, she enters the forest, and after getting linked to safety, she does indeed become a tree. And that is the fate of Link's mother. Number 3. The Legend of Zelda Next, we actually need to go back to the original Legend of Zelda, the game that started it all. Now, NES games aren't known for their in-depth story, and unsurprisingly there's no mention of Link having any kind of parents in the game, or even the manual. He's just a mysterious hero. But three years after The Legend of Zelda was released, a manga adaptation was written by author Yu Mishozaki. And this manga was really very different from the game itself. Not only did it feature a bunch of original characters, like a young girl called Pell and her brother Grey, a racist innkeeper who won't let Link stay the night because he's half elf, and the King of Hyrule, who's a pompous idiot. But this manga also makes many changes from the story of The Legend of Zelda, the game. Link lives at the royal castle, looked after by the old gardener who works there. But his actual mother is Princess Zelda. Not, to be clear, the Zelda he has to save, but her mother. She is also called Zelda. If you're having trouble telling the different Zeldas apart, Zelda from the games is the one with blonde hair, and her mother has blue hair instead. So Princess Zelda's father is the King of Hyrule, but Link's father is actually an elf called Rune, hence why Link is half-elf. Years before Zelda's mother met the king, she fell in love with the elf Rune. 
but because he was an elf, the royal family disapproved of the relationship. That's why Link's true identity was hidden from everyone, including himself. That's right, Link doesn't know that his mother is Blue Hair Zelda, making Blonde Hair Zelda his half-sister, which makes their romance a little weird to read. She doesn't seem to be in love with him, she actually says thanks big brother to Link at the end of the story, but Link doesn't know they're related and clearly has fallen for Zelda pretty hard even up to the end of the manga. In fact, Link is asleep when Zelda calls him big brother, so I guess he never finds out they're related. Let's just hope this relationship doesn't progress any further. <laughs> However, Yu Mishozaki's manga isn't the only adaptation of the original Legend of Zelda game. At around the same time, a comic book adaptation ran in the US, titled The Legend of Zelda. Now, this take on the Zelda story is much lighter in tone and comedic than the Zelda manga. Much like in the American Zelda cartoon, Link is constantly trying to steal kisses from the princess. Now, the comic only ran for six or seven issues, but one of these issues is focused all on Link's family. Right off the bat, we're introduced to Link's parents, who are named Arn and Medilia. Now, at the start of the story, Link sets off on a trip to his homeland to visit his parents, but when he arrives, he's met with a cold reception. His father, Arn, punches him in the face and orders him never to return again. As he walks around the town, Link quickly discovers that someone who looks like him has taken over the kingdom, terrorising the citizens and dragging Link's reputation through the mud. Thus, he vows to defeat this evil lookalike in order to save the kingdom and restore his reputation. When Link finally exposes this villain, his mother, Medilia, apologises. Link, my son, we didn't know. And his father, Arn, tells him, fight bravely, lad. Link does just that, defeating Shadow Link and saving the kingdom. That's my boy, his father proudly states at the end. Number 4. Four Swords So, before we move on to Breath of the Wild, there's one other quick mention. Four Swords. Now, the original Four Swords game had a pretty minimal story. There's a villain, Varty, and that's about it, really. However, in the 2009 manga version, this story gets expanded on. We meet Link's father, who is a knight. He's pretty close to his son, until he gets captured by the evil Varty and brainwashed into thinking that Link is actually Shadow Link. So, the two start fighting and fighting, until Link's father eventually comes to his senses. We never learn his father's name, but here he is, that's what he looks like. Number 5. Breath of the Wild now, Breath of the Wild is the only game other than Ocarina of Time that contains any concrete description of Link's parents. In this game, though, it's through little clues that other characters will drop. Your path seems to mirror your father's. You've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well. So, Link from Breath of the Wild had a knight for a father, we learn. And then Cass will tell you this. At the time, there was a beautiful princess in the royal family, quite close to my teacher in age, apparently. Though he must have known it was doomed to be unrequited, my teacher fell in love with her. But the princess herself only had eyes for her escort, her own knight attendant. My teacher was consumed with jealousy. He fumed that the knight was neither nobility nor royalty himself. So, in other words, Neither Link nor any of his family came from nobility. Link's father and mother were just commoners. So that's a little bit of information, but if we dig deeper, there's more to find. Inside the Japanese version of the book Breath of the Wild Creating a Champion, there's a page of concept art that never ended up making it into the final game. And there's one illustration that shows Link, a younger sister character, and his father. This is the very father that Princess Zelda spoke of. Your path seems to mirror your father's. You've dedicated yourself to becoming a knight as well. This is him. Now, neither Link's father nor his apparent younger sister appear in the final game. 
This could be just because they were cut, not considered important enough to include in the game, or a slightly darker explanation could be that they died. After all, Link was asleep for 100 years. Presumably in that time, all of his family died out. And on that cheery note, let's summarise all the information there is about Link's parents. <clears throat> According to the Legend of Zelda manga, Link's mother is Zelda and his father is Rune the Elf. The Legend of Zelda comic book, however, names Link's parents as Arn and Medilia, who throw Link out of their house but apologise when they realise their mistake. In A Link to the Past, Link is living with his uncle. According to the comic book adaptation, this is because his parents entered the Dark World and were unable to return to Hyrule. And in A Link to the Past audio drama, we learn their names, Banzetta and Loretta. In Ocarina of Time, Link's mother is unnamed, but we learn that she entrusted her son to the Great Deku Tree to protect him from the war that was going on. In Four Swords Adventures, Link's father is brainwashed into fighting Link, but then comes to his senses. And in Breath of the Wild, we're told that Link's parents were common but his father was a knight, and in the game's concept art we see his unnamed father along with a girl who is presumably his sister, however both characters are likely dead. And there you go, that is my conclusive answer to the question of who are Link's parents. To cut a long story short, it's complicated. <laughs> Hi, thanks for watching to the end. I knew this video might end up being a little long, but yes, it certainly was quite long. If you've stuck with me till the end, you might also like my video about Mario's parents. Anyway, there'll be a new video next week, probably, so I'll see you then. Bye! And have a Merry Christmas, or Happy Holidays, or whatever you celebrate.